What is the line? What does he say? You What? are a liar. You are a liar. Actress, get the fuck out. And are we supposed to be trying to stump the other person? What do you mean? Point. Point. Point for Taylor. No, for you. Point for Nick. <laughs> right? You're Taylor. I'm, I'm Nick. Okay, got it. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Can you do your best impression of me? My. Welcome to our channel where we bring you the latest on your favorite celebrities, films, and TV shows. And we're not afraid to get a little sassy while doing it. Before we dive into the video, we've got a fun little question about the film. In red, white, and royal blue, which novel is Alex seen reading while on vacation with Henry in a hammock? A. Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. B. One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. C. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. D. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Hey there, I'm Nicholas Gatzine. And I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. You sabotaged mine. You put a way too big a pause. I'm Nicholas Gatzine. I'm Nicholas Gatzine. Oh, God. This. I want to go home. What's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Gatzine here, and we're going to do a draw off Brits versus the US. Ha, let's freaking go. I believe it. Can you do an impression of this? Yes, I can. Here it goes. <clears throat> Hey, what's up? I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. You might might have seen my work in the Kissing Booth or this uh, this other movie called One Up. <laughs> How um, dare you! <laughs> the karaoke scene in the movie takes place in Texas, unlike the book where it happens during an outing in West Hollywood. In the movie, the scene is combined with their Texas getaway, with only Henry, Alex, Percy, and Nora present. Despite the absence of June and B, Henry still sings "Don't Stop Me Now." Freaking love to surf, <laughs> take supplements. <laughs> gotta get that collagen in your skin, dude. Gotta get it. Gotta look young. Gotta look hot always. Uh, yeah, that. This is me, Taylor. Taylor, dude. Freaking Taylor. Hey, I'm Taylor Zakar Perez. Hi, and I'm Nicholas Galaxy. What was your favorite scene to film? The iconic cake scene. We yeah. literally had to bathe in cake. It was a good cake. Damn good cake. I tasted sugary for a week. Hey, guess what? That's a wrap. That's a wrap! Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada? Yeah, did you want to touch Nevada like that again? Nevada. Yeah. Indiana. That's right there. Perfect. It's there. It's there. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, 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 I'll point, it's right there. <laughs> oh, that's a school bus. A classic American yellow school bus that we see in all of those programs. Wait, I thought I'm drawing UK stuff and you're drawing American stuff. Is that incorrect? <laughs> that is incorrect. After an extensive search, director Matthew Lopez chose Nicholas Galitzin and Taylor Zachar Perez as the ideal actors for the main roles in a film. The two actors displayed great chemistry from their first Zoom meeting, resulting in a partnership marked by trust and respect. Fan reactions have validated their selection. I, I I'm a major double-decker bus drawer. Okay. Piece well, I didn't get to finish. I think we should just drawer. move on to my picture because this is a great piece of artwork, and I don't want to let it go to waste. <clears throat> are, are you the guy from Purple Hearts? Excuse me, sir. 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 <laughs> Excuse me. It's Nick, right? You know, totally. Right. Your dreams, man. Like Three six five. Are we really doing this right now? Yeah. Does someone have a measuring tape? Cheers. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Is not a real place in the UK. Is it A, Scratchy Bottom? <laughs> Is it B, <laughs> Sandy Bush? <laughs> Is it C, Bell End? You know what that is, I told you what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I want to say Bell End is not real. The film version of Alex's coming out diverges from the source material in several ways. In the book, Alex's mother prepares a PowerPoint presentation and organizes an official meeting to address the potential risks that Alex's relationship with Henry could have on her chances for re-election. However, in the movie, her response is more encouraging. She offers advice to Alex about practicing safe sex and encourages him to carefully consider how this relationship will impact his life. Is that your final answer, Taylor? Yeah. Are you sure? Uh, uh, yeah. The answer is in fact B, but there is also a place, uh, as GQ is telling me now, called Sandy Ball. Is it just coming in? Through it's the, coming in. Through the wire? I'm hearing yeah, that we have live news. Sandy there is balls. a place called Sandy Balls in the UK. Feast your eyes on this. Charlie Chaplin. Mm. No. <laughs> it's the... 
queen. Who are you doing the royal wave? Yes, Taylor. It was the queen doing the royal wave. Gosh. You've got a good eye for artwork. Where is the tallest building in the US? And what is it? We did it used to be New York. I, I want to say Seattle. It is in New York. You shouldn't say Seattle. Okay, it's in New York. Is it, it's, yeah. is the, the Empire? It's not the Empire State Building. To film the explicit scenes in red, white, and royal blue, the team worked with intimacy coordinator Robbie Taylor Hunt. Robbie helped the director convey their vision and collaborated with actors Taylor and Nick to capture the intended emotions. The director stressed the importance of having an intimacy coordinator for scenes involving deep connections and love as it ensured accuracy and a comfortable environment for genuine performances. If you go south, there is a larger <laughs> building. Yeah, what is it? It's more of like a center. The World Trade Center. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's the World Trade Center. Yeah, dude. Point. Uh, point. <laughs> What have you done? Oh, what have you done? Oh, there's the movie star. Na 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 na. That's what I said. In what county does the annual Cooper's Hill cheese roll take place? A type of cheese. Manchego. <laughs> Manchego County. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Okay. That is. In the novel, Alex is 5'8.5 5, 5 inches tall, and Henry is 6'1. However, in the film adaptation, Henry and Alex are played by actors who are 6 1 inch and 6 0, respectively. This means that Henry is slightly shorter than Alex in the movie, which is different from the book. However, this change doesn't really affect the relationship between Alex and Henry in the story. This is, this is a baseball field. Yes! yes! Woo! Yeah, that was good. USA, yes. USA, USA, USA! Boy hates boy, boy likes boy. They grow to love each other, the end. Where was the like the character? Where was the where was the like emotion? I don't. I just don't think there's enough time for that. Then like your acting style. Really. Yeah. What would I use a rubber for in the UK? In the most common sense, what would I use a rubber for? Think about like what you do with a rubber. <laughs> like think about like if you if it was gonna be a thing, like what would you do with it? I would put it on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. Good. I, I know, but I mean, then give me a better description of them. Feast your eyes on this. Where are we? We are in London. Mm -hmm. And once upon a time, back in the olden days, what happened to London? It burned. Why? I'll draw the Chicago fire next time. Uh, Taylor, what have you come up with? In the book, Prince Henry and Alex meet for the first time at the Rio Olympics, whereas in the film, they meet at a climate conference in Melbourne. However, the first meeting is similar in both versions as Henry asks his equerry for help in getting away from the event. In the movie, Alex recounts the quote as, can you get me out of here? While in the book, it is, can you get rid of him? In both versions, Henry is unaware that Alex had overheard him. That is a turkey leg. It is a turkey leg! Okay, here we go. The Great London Fire. Mm. I see a scepter, or is that just a king? <laughs> now, look at the paraphernalia of these singers. The, the, the Spice Girls. Yes, Taylor! Spice Girls! Woo! Can you do your best impression of me? Mate, mate, are you serious? Can I get latte? Well, this is offensive now. My name is Taylor Zakar Perez. You may have seen me from such movies as The Kissing Booth, One Up, Minx. <laughs> Let me, let me do my, close my ears so I don't copy you. Yeah, close your ears. All right, okay. It's quite a weird thing. It's like conflating two things. Because you guys called french fries chips. You, yeah, you and crisps are chips. But what's fry. the butty? Mayonnaise. No. Butter. Um, don't think condiment. Sandwich. Yes. What is the goes in the sandwich? Red, white, and royal blue provides a deeper understanding of Henry's perspective. The film version presents significant moments through his eyes, like his frustration with Alex prior to their encounter at the royal wedding. This allows viewers to grasp Henry's character from the start, even before Alex does. Additionally, the movie includes exclusive scenes that are not present in the book. What is the goes in the sandwich? Fish. Oh. <laughs> 
It's you guys speak a different language here. I'm telling you, it may be English. I but feel like we did like all the workings out. A sandwich and fries? Yes. Proto baggies. This unfair advantage with your sneakers on. Kick them off. I'm comfy. You're comfy in your lips. I know. Kick them off. Fine. You know what? Fine. Fine. But have a tailor's way. Six two. I'm gonna say <laughs> slight advantage. Taylor. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. What can I expect in a traditional English fry up? Fish. Oh my God. You're really, you're really about to upset me. An English fry up chips. I have no idea. Getting really angry right now. Thank you for watching the entire video. So as promised, here's the answer to our little question. When Alex and Henry are relaxing on their vacation, you can spot Alex engrossed in One Last Stop, which happens to be Casey McQuiston's second book. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Stay tuned for our next video.